Hello guys and welcome back. I'm very sorry about the sound quality in the other video. It seemed like I was using the mic f directly from my laptop, so that's my my bad. All right, but uh, yeah, in this video we're gonna make our div resizable. Last time we made it movable, as you can see here, very movable. We can move it around. Now we want to make it resizable. And to begin with, I just want to apply some styling so we actually can see our handlers so we can start dragging them around. And uh, I'm going to find a class called Resizer and I'm just going to apply some basic styling here for all our resizes. First thing will be the absolute positioning and then just some different sizing here. So let's just give it a width of 10 and a height of 10. And then border radius will be half of that. And then maybe a color. Let's give it black and then set index to just to make sure we will target that one and not the box when we try to drag. All right, as we can see up there, there is our little resizer here. It looks okay. Now I want to apply some specific styling to each of the four, one, four resizes. So I'm going to define four CSS rules here. One for Northwest, Northeast, Southwest and Southeast. So if we are in the Northwest, we would like to add a top of minus one pixel. And since we are in the west, we are going to define left minus one pixel, and then the cursor will be NW resize. And uh, yeah, let's just continue on here. So for the northeast, we still want to define the top because we're in the north. And then this time we want to be on the right, we're going to be in the east. So let's put it right minus one pixel. And the cursor, any resize. And uh, I think you guys can see where this is going, so I'm just gonna define the rest here. Okay, and then at the end, still at the bottom, this time on the right side. And the cursor should be southeast resize. All right, let's see. Okay, looks looks cool. We can definitely see there's some handles here, and when we hover the mouse over, it will change to that direction that we are going to drag in. All right, very simple and uh, very easy to implement. All right, guys, let's get cooking with some JavaScript. Um, we uh, applied our styles now, so um, let's write some JS to get this thing resizing. All right, um, first thing you want to do is just to select all our resizes, all our different handles in our div here. So let's write a selector here. Oh, and this one should be a document query selector, query selector all because we want all of these selectors and apply some event handlers to them. All right, so um, let's um, start looping all these resizers, shall we? So resizer of resizes. Now, the approach we will use is going to look very similar to when we were moving stuff around. You will see. Um, the first thing we want to do is to add an event listener. On mouse down. Once again, mouse down. Here we want to fire off that function called mouse down. Using the same naming logic as before. And um, all right, like this. And in mouse down, 
you guessed it, we have two event listeners again on the window, on mouse move, and also on uh, mouse up. Let's get at them right away. All right. Let's just add the function mouse move events and a function called mouse up. Okay. And uh, yeah, on mouse down in the previous uh, implementation, we had to record the initial cursor positioning. And the same thing goes here. The exact same thing goes here. So let's define using the same variable names previous x equal to client x so the positioning of our cursor on the x-axis and the positioning on the y-axis of our cursor here all right and um, there's another thing we need to do here and that is to assign the current resizer to the target and uh, that means we should actually have a variable out here let's just call it current resizer and then in here on mouse down we assign that current resizer to the target of the event like that uh, this will be useful uh, when we are gonna check which um, we're gonna check the classes of the current resize. I'll show you guys in a minute in our mouse move function. Okay, so moving on to the mouse move function, um, this is where we want to do the resizing, right? Where we're moving, where we're moving the mouse. So we need some information about our div. So if we say once again, take our orange box here, our orange box here, which is this variable L that that I defined in the previous part at the very top. Uh, if we call that function once again, get bounding client erect, we will get some information. Actually, we get all the information. We need, um, in this case, I'm gonna start implementing uh, this handle here when we start dragging from the bottom right. So when we start dragging from the bottom right, we are going to increase the width and the height, right? So first, we just make a check here. Checking if the current resizer that we have our mouse down at, that class list, does it contain a, a class called Southeast? In this case, Southeast is the bottom one here. If it does, we need to perform some specific calculation uh, regarding this corner. And uh, since we are just increasing the width and the height, we need to change these values, right? So, the width and the height, right? And this is gonna be very simple, guys. It's gonna be almost identical to the other one. So we're increasing the width, right? So we need to get the current width. We can get that by saying rec.width. And now we need the either increase or decrease in the cursor's positioning. And as we learned before, we just take the previous x and then minus the current position of the cursor within our mouse move event here. This will yield the increase in X or decrease in X right here. And the same, we just do the same here. So instead of the width, we take the height and oops, when we're adjusting the height, we care about the Y and the previous y in the corner right y like that okay and as before when we are chaining these mouse move events we need to remember to set the previous x to 
the current X in this mouse move event. And we do this at the bottom and we also always need to do that. So we know whether it's decrease or an increase. Like this. Okay, that looks great. Let's actually see if it works. So if I start dragging here, hmm, seems like the div is just moving as I'm trying to drag. And hmm, let's actually see if we get inside this mouse move. Let's see if we get in here. And it does appear that we do. So what's going on? Well, we need to add pixels here. That's what's going on. It doesn't know what kind of measure we're using here. So if we add pixel here, that should clear things up, right? Hmm. Yeah, it seems to be working now, but it's also moving. And the reason why it's moving is because we actually have a mouse down event up here triggering at the same time. So in order to avoid that from happening, we could define a variable. Let's call it is resizing, resizing, and just initially put it to false. If we are inside this mouse down on the one of these handlers, we want to set is resizing to true. Seems like I spelled resizing wrong. Is resizing. That's, I think that's better. So, right, that looks good. So in our mouse move event here for our moving stuff around, we just check uh, if we are not resizing, then we can apply our movement stuff here like this otherwise move stuff so if i'm trying to move it, it still works but if i'm resizing it's working see and we're not moving because well we are resizing right now so don't try to move it okay it looks looks very nice Okay guys, so it seems to be working great uh, for resizing the bottom right part, right? Let's just quickly implement our mouse up button because there's some funny behavior here. <laughs> I uh, released my mouse button a long time ago and we're still resizing, so let's get rid of that. So in here, when we release the mouse button. We want to remove that event listener from the window. So remove event listener, mouse move. Let's get rid of it. And also, as before, oh, not add, remove. We want to remove that mouse up. Listener there, a function. And uh, as a new thing, we also want to set is resizing to false. And that is because we also want to be able to maybe move it again. We don't want to get stuck in resizing mode. So if we save this, move stuff, resize stuff. Oh, there's a small error. Oh, I forgot to pinpoint what event listener we are actually removing here from the window. So it should be mouse move and mouse up like this. Try again. Okay, great. We can move it. We can resize it. Great. Everything works. Now, I want to remove this console lock and then I want to implement the implementation of the other corners. This is when it gets a little hairy, I would like to say. It gets a little confusing, probably for some of you guys. And also for me, when I was making this. Um, let's go ahead and hide that one. Um, all right, so what we want to do is we want to, of course, we want to check 
on the current resize or what class we have because we need to do some different calculation depending on what corner we are in. So let's just take um, the bottom left corner, right? The southwest section. So what's going to happen in here, right? So of course we are going to change. We're going to be changing the width and the height when we change this one, but we're also going to be changing a new um, a new part, which is going to be the left property, because when we are moving in this direction, uh, we need to increase this the left to kind of mimic that the width and the height is increasing as we're dragging it. I'm going to show you guys. It's going to make more sense when we write the code. So let's start out by the width. We know the width. So rect dot width minus. Oh, actually, not quite the same because we're going in the opposite direction now. So actually, here we need to plus the previous x minus e client x. And remember to add that beautiful pixel at the end. Now the uh, height, let's take the height now. The height is going to be just rec.height minus the increase. Oh, it's going to be y, e.client.y plus px. Okay. Oh, okay. So that looks almost right. Just need a minus there. Okay. So as I said, we want to change the left property here as well, because we are moving in the left direction and we need to, might have to decrease or increase this one as we're dragging. So what we are firstly interested in is the current left. And then we are interested in the increase and decrease of the X axis, right? X axis. So if you subtract the previous X, and then take the current when we should actually get that value we want for left. Let's save it and then just let's just give it a go. So let's drag it into the middle here. Start dragging left. Hmm. That seems to be working. And the right one is also still working. It's looking very nice. Oh. It's working very nicely. Okay, that's cool. Not too bad. Now let's implement the remaining two. Um, I guess this part is just very, you just gotta know the the uh, calculation. And they are not, like they're very similar actually. This is a few small changes depending on what direction. Okay, so let's take the northeast direction here, right? So when we're dragging up here, once again, we gotta change the height and the width. So we can just kind of copy paste at this point, copy paste that one, and then just adjust the minuses and the pluses here. Since we are dragging in the right direction on the right side, we just do as we normally do, as we did for southeast, just subtract this part. But the height, we actually need to do it opposite here, opposite. So here we actually add the increase. And there's one more thing we need to change. Since we are dragging upwards, we are going to be changing the top. And uh, for the top, we are interested in the current top. And then we are, of course, once again, interested in the decrease or the increase of the cursor's direction. And uh, I actually made a mistake here. It should be the y-axis since we're going up or down like that. And add the px at the end. Save it. Let's give it a test. Hmm. Seems to be working quite well. Okay. So let's take the last corner here. I'm just going to put an L here. And uh, the last corner is going to be that northwest section here and this is going to be the most difficult part but uh, it won't be too bad let's copy paste the width and the height and we're going in opposite directions once again for the width and also for the height so we need to 
add these two instead of subtracting. We want to take the opposite, right? And uh, when we are dragging upwards, we are changing the top, but we are also potentially changing the left. So we actually need to do form modification here. So top, rect, top. And since, since that is on the y-axis, we're interested in the change on the y. Put the px there. And also the left. And that would be on the x-axis. So previous x and e client x. And save it. OK. Let's try it. Left works. Oh, this one also works. This one works. And then it's about the last one we just implemented. Oh, it's also working. Okay, so it seems like this div is very resizable now. Yeah, it seems like it's working. Okay. Um, that would be all, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.